Namaste angels. I'm here to do a spiritual energy reading. Um, the short reading for the spiritual energy surrounding the Feast of the Holy Family, which is on the 30th. So I spoke about this um, one of the uh, one of the videos earlier this week, perhaps the weekly. I'm not sure. Um, or maybe the daily or and or maybe the daily um, for the 30th, the general energy reading for the day. Um, I'm so pleased. I'm going to begin. I'm using Mother Mary's uh, cards, the Queen of Angels Oracle by Doreen Virtue. And I'm beginning with the energy of Mother. Um, so, of course, the Feast of the Holy Family is a celebration of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, you know, exactly as it sounds. I open my heart to my mother's humanness and her divinity. And opening to faith. I have faith in God to heal this situation. Faith is back. Opening to blessings. Today I count my blessings small and large. I notice the new gifts that come to me from God. So this is just from those of us, for those of us who appreciate knowing um, and being guided by the spiritual uh, sense of all this as well. Opening to patience. I trust in divine timing. Focusing on the 30th. Patience is back. I'm going to cut and I, I meant to light my um, eternal life incense. And I did not. So if I can get a moment, I will do that. Coming to the energy of open your heart, I allow myself to feel the full range of emotions, especially all the forms of love. the overall energy is tenderness i am both gentle and powerful i think this may be one of her favorite cards I, I don't believe i've ever done a reading or a spread of her cards where i don't see this one let's see if i can find those yep eternal life incense These are from a place that they sell like natural um, incense, like organic incense. Okay. Masculine, Mother Mary says to you, gratitude. So again, this is for the 30th. The spiritual energy for the 30th, the feast day of the Holy Family. And blessings that are being um, going to be coming your way. Today I count my blessings small and large and I notice the new gifts that come to me from God. Gratitude says, as I notice and appreciate my blessings, I open the door to more of God's gifts. In your subconscious, you're being guided to... Live in the present moment. I am fully present in the here and now. Feminine, you're being asked to um, express compassion toward others. I see and feel others' points of view with forgiveness and kindness. Surrounding you is the energy of mercy. I am kind and thoughtful toward myself and others. And I think that 
the month of Tevet had quite a bit to do with mercy as well. And remembering what I read from that um, Hasidic female, a Jewish female website. I don't remember the name of it. Um, but it was all about Tevin, and I believe that there was a good bit about mercy. And Tevit is also on the 30th. I'm uh, just thinking about that now. So another reason to be celebrating spiritual energy. Um, in the feminine subconscious is optimism. I expect good things to happen, and they do. This is This reminds me very much of the reading that I did for the first. I couldn't reiterate enough uh, of how we have to watch our thoughts. Crowning. Oh, grace is crowning with Mary's cards. Hail Mary, full of grace. I am filled with the same beauty, poise, and divine perfection as all of God's other creations, is what she wants us to remember. That's what's crowning us. At the root, signs. I watch for, notice, and trust the signs that heaven continually sends. And at the heart of the matter from the Blessed Mother, she wants us to know, ooh, sobriety. My mind is clear, or my clear mind is easily able to focus and concentrate. So some of us may have um, some things upon, or, or people perhaps, upon which we're codependent. And she's wanting us uh, to not take that maybe into the new year. Um, or, and, or this just came to me and I think this is a big part of it too. Um, to, if, if it's actual substances like alcohol or drugs to begin to, uh, cleanse, detoxify our bodies of these things in preparation for, um, childbirth, child bearing and that's not just the feminine it's here in the middle it's for the masculine too um there could be something that you're using some sort of substance that is affecting um your fertility maybe it's make, causing you to be like sterile and we both have to uh get off of this to give way for the blessings and the grace and one of the reasons that she was full of grace or the the day that that um prayer was sort of given to her or those words were given, were spoken to her was the day that she was uh, notified by the angel that she would give birth to a son. That was the grace. Um, and she said, from this day on, people will call me blessed. That was about the child. So I think that she's warning us here. She's telling us to pay attention to these signs and she's giving us signs now. Um, that we need to, even if we don't plan on having children now, you know, next year, the year after, whatever, our bodies still have to be prepared. We don't want to get to the point where we're ready to have them. And the doctor says, no, you can't because, you know, you have too much of this substance in you. So she's wanting us to get off of that now. Let's get some advice from her. And maybe see if there's any additional reason why she would want sobriety. Um, yeah, maybe for caring for a child. Again, for rearing a child. Heaven cares for me and I keep my heart open to caring about myself, others, and the world. So again, in preparing um, and so in healing our bodies, not just for ourselves, but for others. As in maybe a child we're going to have. I don't know. I'm just drawn to to pull a couple more here. Um, and home, I trust and follow my divine guidance about my home. Maybe this means like our vessel in this case, since I was pulling it with this, the heart of the matter in mind. Um, I think our home can be, yeah, the home we walk around in like a snail's house, our shell um, where, our, where our souls are housed. Further advice from her, masculine, forgiveness. If you're harboring some sort of resentment, let it go. Don't bring it into the new year with you. I'm willing to release old resentments so that I may enjoy my life. 
and feminine children. See, told ya. My heart is filled with love for children, which creates miracles and positive change for them and me. And I also want to get some advice for from Archangel Michael, beginning with positive thoughts create positive results, which again, I said over and over again in my January 1st reading. Divine love and wisdom. I call upon you now. I know that my mind and emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person and situation. If we keep our thoughts positive, positive things will come to us. Opening two. This situation is already resolved. I give any worries, cares, and concerns to you in exchange for true peace in all ways. Thank you for resolving this, and you can insert something here if you like, in a divinely perfect way. Positive thoughts create positive results. The person you're asking about is trustworthy. This may have something to do with the forgiveness. Right away, I was drawn back to this card. So maybe the masculine questioning something. Uh, can I trust this? Should I forgive? And Archangel Michael saying yes. Positive thoughts create positive results is back. I'll go one more. Opening to self-respect, dear God and angels, thank you for helping me to see myself as you see me through the eyes of love. Thank you for honoring and respecting me. Please guide me to do the same for myself and grant me the courage to speak up on my own behalf. I ask for your protection in all of my relationships so that I'm surrounded by loving, kind people. but positive thoughts create positive results is bad. He wants to reiterate it as much as I did. Your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Please help me to clearly hear see, feel, and to know the divine guidance that I have asked and prayed for. Allow me to keep my ego out of the way so your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own benefit and for those around me. And lastly, from the angels, beginning with cut your cords. Ask Archangel Michael to clear any old attachments to fear that stem from past relationships, freeing you from destructive patterns. And as some similar to what Mother Mary said um, with regard to sobriety, heal away addictions. It's time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. So if this message applies to you um, out there, you have um, an, a codependency upon an actual substance and you need to get sober in that sense. You are guided now to call on um, Mother Mary and Archangel Raphael. And open it to base chakra, which is root chakra, and perhaps to clear that as well, because this sort of like governs the rest of the body. Choose only positive thoughts. And this message again, choose only positive thoughts to describe your home, career and finances and anything else in your life as your words determine your outcome. Heal Away Addictions is back. I'm going to cut. Landing on the energy of goddess, express your divine feminine energy, embracing its magical intuition and nurturing qualities like a mother, maybe like Mary.
and we may want to work on solar plexus chakra this is our overall energy it is safe for you to be powerful and to take charge of your life in positive ways so base chakra and solar plexus chakra masculine your further advice is crown chakra pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance sent in answer to your prayers the signs Feminine, yours is indigo. The person you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive, natural-born leader. So if you're questioning yourself, your own abilities, um, there's your answer. Masculine, yours is from the romance angels um, by way of Archangel Michael. They're helping you. Dear guardian angels of my soulmate, thank you for preparing my soulmate and me for love for giving us the motivation to make healthful life changes like getting sober and for arranging for us to meet. Thank you for helping us to recognize each other and to have the courage to say hello so that we can eventually delve into a truly intimate relationship. And for the feminine from Archangel Michael, this is back. This situation is already resolved. I give any worries, cares, and concerns to you in exchange for true peace in all ways. Thank you for resolving this. And if you want to insert something specific, you can. And it will be resolved in a divinely perfect way. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little mini spiritual energy reading. Namaste, angels.